Here comes the hall, another one, another one. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Bath & Body Works haul for you guys. But this one is kind of more of a much needed one. By the way, I, I'm wearing a shirt. I swear, my um, it's just being covered, so maybe I should go a little bit more back so you can see it. And I don't be called a whore or a hoe or whatever. Can I even say that? I have no idea. But um, yes, I'm wearing a top. So um, I honestly have been thinking recently that this is like the end of Bath & Body Works for me um, because I finally needed some lotion. I only brought like two bottles with me and I have been using like an Aveeno bottle and like everything was just running really low and so I was like waiting to see if Bath & Body Works like was gonna have anything and I kept seeing hello rude city noise um, I kept checking and they only had like buy three get one free like what the hell is that like what what a ripoff first of all so like for like a few weeks I was just like wow this is really like the end for me um, they don't even have like their normal like <laughs> sales that like make sense because buy three get one free makes zero sense and then finally last weekend they had a buy three get three um, which they used to have like every other weekend and then it used to like buy three get two like what happened to those days I have no idea so then I was like okay well I need lotion and I can't find any like good smelling on the lower sphere lotion so I just decided like okay I'm gonna buy it let's like I guess that's as good as it's gonna get until they actually like come around like holiday time or like the rare times that they have like the one-off sales but like I couldn't wait for that because I wanted I needed lotion and I wanted it to be like a good scent um, so yeah I bought some basically some lotions a couple of like other doodads not so much but I really think that this is like the end of the road for me um, we'll have to see like how semi-annual sales are gonna be this time around but I'm just I'm not digging it anymore <laughs> but still enough where I can like obviously bring myself to buy a couple things so anyways yeah so let's go ahead and just jump right into the haul like I said I did the buy three get three free that they had like last weekend that apparently is rare now I don't know what the pandemic has really done to them as a company I guess it's like it's woe is them because like that's ridiculous for them to just have a buy three get one so it makes me curious on like how their sales are going since they started doing promotions like that um are people actually like buying into that trap i have no idea i've also haven't like kept up with like a lot of their emails i've only been on a lookout because i know i need stuff right now so let me know like what have what's your experience have you been buying how do you feel about it because i'm not liking it but anyways um, I did buy a body wash because I only brought one, I brought two with me. I brought a winter candy apple and then I brought um, like an endless weekend and that one's like only has like about a third left and we're having guests that are probably going to use it so I needed another like non-winter candy apple shower gel just because it's not time yet. I'm not ready especially in this humidity. So I bought the moisturizing body wash because I do have dry skin and I actually got sunshine mimosa. This is the first time I've ever tried it if you don't know what it smells like. Um, it is bright bubbly champagne fresh citrus and I have to say it smells like citrusy in like a good way um, I don't know if I would want to douse myself in like a normal mimosa um, I'm more of like a cran mosa than like a mimosa I don't know I'm just like not like the biggest orange juice fan but cranberry juice and champagne mm, I could get behind that this smells good I actually really like it for like a shower it's just like it's not like a scent I normally would have gravitated towards from Bath and Body Works but I kind of don't want something like overly sweet I don't know like I even debated like getting like strawberry pound cake like shower gel and I was just like mm, I kind of don't want that I just don't want something very heavy I want something like light and refreshing and I guess it's like the way that I feel about the outside or just like I don't know I just feel like this is like the perfect shower scent because like they don't really linger that much scent wise but like you still smell it 
and I, I don't know why I felt like this was like a good shower scent but just like shower scent because I only picked up sunshine mimosa which is like super cute in this packaging but like I wouldn't wear it as a lotion I don't think maybe I would you know what they say that like every seven years like your scent preference changes and I think that's what's going on with me right now I think new city like new hair color ish I think I'm going through that like weird stage where like my scent preference is changing because I did start working for Bath and Body Works in 2014 and that was like seven years ago yeah that was seven years ago and that's what they say that your scent preference changes every seven years and I think that's what's going on right now because I feel like before I never would have gone for this but now I like really really like it so that's weird anyways <laughs> without the point and like even like I used to be like I used to love like YSL black opium um like a couple years ago and now I can't stand it anymore and I've never even like had like a full bottle I just have like a tiny sample size and I gifted my mom the full size and I was jealous that I gifted it to her and that she had that when I first did but now I'm just like not interested in it so I think I am going through like that weird transition which is just really weird for me it's weird to acknowledge that's what's going on <laughs> okay i've been talking way too much and i've only shown you like one item um, my apologies a lot of you guys told me that um i should definitely go smell coconut candy apple and i definitely picked one up i like it it's not too like in your face but it has a little bit of that warm scent um obviously you guys know like i said winter candy apple is still like one of my favorite scents but this doesn't remind me of candy apple or winter candy apple even though this doesn't smell like vanilla or like warm vanilla sugar i don't know why there's like no hint of vanilla in here but when i think about warm vanilla sugar like what I feel like it should have been, not the Bath and Body Works version. Like this is what it kind of like reminds me of. And I think it's like the coconut and it just smells like, okay, I take that back. The fragrance notes are candy red apple, shredded coconut and vanilla spice. So that's probably why I feel like this is what warm vanilla sugar should have smelled like. It definitely smells like caramelized brown sugar. Um, a little bit of toasted coconut. I feel like that's what this smells like. So I definitely like have to give you guys a shout out. Whoever said like go try this out. That's what they have. Um, I'm excited to use this. I guess once it starts feeling a little bit more like fall. Right now it's kind of humid and hot still. Even though today is like a very rainy gloomy day. But I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. And sometimes I even get like a little guava hint. I don't even know if it's actually guava, what I think I'm thinking of, but like just like guayaba, guava, there's like something in there that I'm also picking up that is not listed on the scents, but thanks for the recommendation. I definitely really like that one. And then I picked up a couple of like ones that like you know I've used before, you guys know that I like if you watch me. Um, I picked up a gingham to me that smells like fresh lemonade with a little bit of peppercorn in it. And it's just like light and fresh, not too overpowering. Um, so I had to pick up, I picked up basically only body creams because um, winter is coming. <laughs> and I already naturally have dry skin, so I need something that's a little bit more moisturizing. Um, and so you won't see any of the regular body lotions because I need more moisture than that. Um, so Gingham, it's a classic, nice, fresh scent. Um, I also picked up a strawberry pound cake, and that's why I kind of I sort of mentioned it too, because um, I love strawberry pound cake, but I don't know. Like, I liked it a couple months ago, and now I feel like it's starting to get a little bit too sweet for me, and I don't know if it has anything to do with now that I'm living with Josh, and like, I don't know, like, you know, there's like a hormone change because now like you're with I'm with my significant other and I don't know if it has anything to do with like that but this you guys know that I went through so many strawberry pound cake and I don't know like it still smells the same but now I feel like it might be a little bit too sweet so again I feel like I'm starting that weird process of like scent changes and I again I don't know if it has anything to do with like hormones changing or just like that time that like your scent preference is changing but i don't think i'm gonna have that much strawberry pound cake in my life soon like i didn't pick up 
the set, which I feel like normally that's what I would have gone through. But I don't know. Isn't that weird? That's weird. Like even me just like realizing right now, it's like weird. Yeah, I still like it, but it's starting to get like a little too much for me. So interesting. Um, I also picked up A Thousand Wishes. I love this packaging that it's in. I just love rose gold. I love pink. Um, this one's still fine for me. Like it's not too overpowering. Um, strawberry pound cake is starting to get a little bit overpowering, but I don't know if it's one of those. As soon as I start using it, I'll start getting used to it. I might even like water the fragrance down with like regular lotion. I might do that. Like who am I? I have no idea. I don't know who I am, but I picked up another A Thousand Wishes. And then the last thing from that like buy three, get three um, is kind of a shock because I wouldn't have picked this out like not even six months ago. Um, this is Marigold in Cane Sugar and it looks like this. And basically it just smells like golden, cis golden citrus, sunshine, marigold, cane sugar, and warm um, amber. And again, this is another one that barely has any scent. It's light and fresh, but it's not like overpowering. I used to like overpowering, but again, now I'm going for like very light, hardly their scents. It's weird. Is she gonna be boring now? I don't wanna be boring. I just don't wanna be like too overpowering with my lotion. But that's all I got. Um, so five lotions, one moisturizing shower gel. I'm still doing the thing where I'm only applying like the Bath & Body Works on the top half. I did stop a little bit um, because I was trying to use up more lotion before I moved. Um, but now I'm kind of back to that now that I have moved. And then on my bottom half, I'm just using like good old plain regular lotion that doesn't need scent. And then the last thing I picked up are the C.O. Bigelow My Favorite Night Balm. I used to love these. I did the buy two get one. One of them is in my purse right now because I needed it. These are my favorite like thick save me during Accutane is my favorite like nighttime um, just thick actually doing something for my lips and I hadn't seen them for a while but the Bath & Body Works here does have them and as soon as I saw them I like beeline towards it picked it up and even though I hate spending the money on them because you know buy three get three free is like already kind of pricey as it is so like it did add on a little bit to that but I freaking love these so much and they might be introduced back into my life because I haven't seen them in a while um, so yeah that is everything I got. Did you shop the sale this last weekend for the buy three, get three? But also let me know if you're just even buying stuff at all. Do you feel like it's still worth it to you? Because I don't know, I was a little bit desperate, not gonna lie, for lotion. So that's why as soon as I saw the buy three, get three, I pounced, but like, how often are they even having that? I feel like not really. Maybe as we get into the holiday season, we'll see a little bit more, but like, I'm just really disappointed in Bath & Body Works in regards to like, what their deals and promotions are now. Cause you know, if you're an avid Bath & Body Works lover, you've seen what it was versus what it is now. So kind of disappointed. Let me know in the comments down below, but let me just do this real quick so you are guys no, I have a shirt on. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, no matter where you're watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.